The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the February 18th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Steve e. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. And today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. We're recording the show early. So if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you're listening in between 8 and 9 and you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Send it early. And in that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers, then well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. indices, U.S. equity futures, I should say, are trading to the upside. You've got the uh, Dow's up 158 points. She's trading at 34,387. NASDAQ 102, about seven tenths of a percent, half a percent for the ES mini. That's up 23 points. And the uh, Russell's up 15. Now, all of that was expected. Those of you that are longtime listeners, Listeners to uh, JB, I don't know. They're, they're, they may be having we were having some trouble uh, earlier this morning. Technically speaking, maybe turn into uh, Tiger TV if you can, and you should be able to see the charts. I know they're trying to get those ready here inside the Tiger's Den. So, uh, so they are up. I would suggest going over to take a look at it on Tiger TV. But what I was about to say uh, was, uh, those of you that are longtime listeners of the show know that when we have a one-day rate of change in the spot volatility index above plus 10 percent that uh, we typically see some type of bounce or bottom form overnight so what we're seeing in the markets here is normal what we're going to go try to do is interpret you know the upside potential what to look at that would suggest a further breakout and the downside potential a further breakdown over in asia last night markets were mixed you had the uh, shanghai uh, that was up 23 points the nikkei and the hang Seng were off the hang Seng was down 465 points nearly two percent over in Europe this morning, the DAX is trading lower and the FTSE is trading higher. Gold's off five bucks. Silver is up three pennies. Light sweet crude, she's trading out at eighty-eight forty-four. That's a buck. That's back a buck sixty. That's a testing support. In fact, let's go from this uh, set of uh, tables or charts out here. Uh, let's actually go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. Good. So you guys should have it in the Tiger's Den here momentarily. And we've been when we've been when we a little bit. You know, I'll eventually get this. But when we do begin, take a look at this nine panel chart. It's just to give us a kind of a good overview of what the markets are doing. Then we'll go ahead and spend some time doing the deep dive into the details. But here, if we take a look in the upper left hand corner of the ES Mini. So right now, you can see it's had a little rising trend line that price is trading just really right on it right now. So you're below the center of its profile. There's support at 44.9650. That's the weekly profile. Below that is the daily profile at 46.51. So really 46.51 is going to be a key number for you to be watching or observing to any downside action inside the ES Mini. To the upside, it's really going to be that descending trend line. Now today, that descending trend line, i give you an estimate of where that would take us to. I'm not saying that price is going to get up here, but this would be the level of resistance. About 45 20 or so. So to the upside, you're looking at 4520. To the downside, you're looking at 4258. Now, the spot volatile index is rising. It's above its 50 day expense moving average. It's always problematic for the SP 500 or the ES Mini. So anything that might spook the market, um, it's really set to have a, uh, a fairly good drop to the downside. If we take a look at the NQ, a little bit like the ES, it's trading right in. So it's trading below the bottom of that new daily profile that formed, that completed uh, 
really confirmed last, uh, not last, uh, two nights ago. And uh, but it's trading right into trend line support. Now it's below. This is interesting because the weekly profile here just shifted. It actually vanished. So that's interesting. Very interesting. In any event, so at this stage here, if price trades below this little rising trend line, I'd say that's about the 14060-ish level, then that's going to suggest a run for the uh, lows from January 24th, maybe even go ahead and try and take them out. So you're right at a key level of support for the NQ. The U.S. dollar index trading between support and resistance of rising trend lines. Goldilocks closed above 1884.40 yesterday. That was the uh, B point of an A to B of a larger A to B equals CD to the upside. That A to B equals CD pattern has a price projection of 1956. Silver trading into the top of its daily profile as well as trend line support. It would be uh, a little bit bullish, not a little bit bullish, it would be bullish if you could close above 23.97. Right now, price is trading at 23.94. Light sweet crude, which has a Rhodes momentum indicator top that was confirmed on February 15th. Now, price is pulled back to test the support level. And the real support level here is the bottom of that profile, and that's at 87.02. Our low today so far has been 87.46. If price is trading below 8702, you can expect a further decline. Wow, Steve, oh, thank you. We'll take a look at the light speed crude charts and try to figure out where that further decline will take us to. In the case of natural gas, it regained the bottom of its daily profile two days ago, tested it, and rejected it yesterday, stayed above it. Today, we're trading just slightly above. This is suggesting as long as price can remain above $4.48, this suggests a run to the $4.84 level. In the case of the 30-year Treasury, that's the bottom right-hand panel chart, price formed a Roach Mintum indicator bottom. It did that yesterday. You, you can't see that on the screen here because that's part of the white background charts. So you have to trust me on that. But what we can say is that price should go target that descending trend line. That's going to be in about the 153.05-ish area. So that's the overview of the markets as we speak right now. Let's go uh, take a tour of what's going on overseas. So we're going to switch to some white background charts. And so, you know, the mere fact that uh, markets were mixed, one was up, one was down and so forth. What does it really mean? Well, the real meaning comes from interpreting the charts or the chart patterns. So one of the chart patterns or one of the tools that you and I like to use is that oscillator and change line. What is the oscillator and change line? It is a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average of the uh, of the uh, advanced decline of the price oscillator out there and it's very helpful because when prices so the lines either green or red when it's red it tells us a price oscillator is below zero so it's sort of a bearish type condition it's really more bearish if price is below the red line because then you have a falling price oscillator below zero we don't have that in shanghai we have price trading above a red oscillator and change line that suggests at least testing the recent high price closed inside that recent i'm talking about the swing point from february 11th if price can take that out and that high by the way is 36 38 15 you'll watch this sunday evening that would then be setting up an a to b equals cd to upside for the Shanghai. The Hang Seng here is a green oscillator and change line. Price closed below it. What does that mean? That means that likely the most recent swing point, that's one from February 15th, should get tested. And if price closes below that, then we have a further retracement. The Nikkei, it's got a red oscillator and change line. Price closed just above it. And uh, so that suggests you could get a further rally. The DAX looks like it wants lower price. It looks like it wants to go test. I think that's the 28th. Is that the 28th? No, February 14th. It looks like it wants to go tag that, at least the high of that swing point. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up 
today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, we are recording the show. It's 8.18 in the morning. If you're listening at 1.18 in the afternoon, thanks so much for doing so. We'll be back to normal programming on Tuesday. Remember, Monday is a uh, holiday out here. And uh, so looking forward to a, a little bit of a extended weekend. Now, this is the chart here. Uh, whether you're listening at 1, uh, 8.18 in the morning or 1.18 in the afternoon, it's going to be the most important come day's end. And uh, that is the weekly time frame chart. Here's for the equity future contract. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, you've got the ES Mini. And on the ES Mini, I've got the uh, red arrow pointed to a break. That's last February, February 2020, I should say. Uh, that was the uh, break of, uh, of the bottom of that profile. And that was uh, what led to a further move lower. That was a change in trend signal. We actually had that same change in trend signal form out here the uh, week that began, January 17th, as price closed below it. But then last week, we have a new profile that formed for the ES Mini. And that level now is 43.31. So we always respect new support when it forms a bottom of a profile. And I'm just showing you the bottoms of the profiles here. Uh, that has to be respected. If you see a close below 43.31.75, even though it says 85 on my screen, can't trade to that level. But 43.31.75, if price closes below that, then you're going to have another change in trend signal. Now, the issue is you really to really get a change in trend signal, you've got to take out or close below the lows from January 24th. So you've got two areas to watch. You've got you've got the uh, you've got the profile level that I gave you, and then below that is 42.1275. So let's just make it 42.1275. Your price closes below that level, if you get, that's that's spelling some real trouble. Now that real trouble is on a weekly basis, we could have an A to B equals CD to the downside that forms. I'm not going to type that in just yet because we don't have that, but that's what it would turn into, and that would certainly lead to lower price because the retracement was such a shallow retracement out here inside the ES Mini, uh, that would be likely more than a one to one A to B equals CD to the downside. We don't have that just yet, but that's the level that you want to watch. Now in the upper left-hand corner is the NQ. And all the way up through about, um, I'm going to say about a half an hour ago, this had a new weekly profile that was attempting to form. It's not that it won't come back or can't come back, but it's not there. And so that's really dangerous. Well, the level of support now inside the NQ is going to be that low from the 24th. And if you see a close below 13706, 
This is on the NQ. Boy, that's going to spell some real trouble for it. The Dow is testing, or very close to testing, the bottom of its weekly profile, which is 34,171. Actually, the low is 34,171. How about that? And that occurred overnight. Gotta love, you gotta love these profiles. So you get it closed below 34,171. Look, at first is going to suggest that you're at least going to go test that low from the 24th, which in the case of the YM is 33031. But if you close below that, again, you'd have an A to B equals CD to the downside. And for the Russell 2000, I mean, it's going to take quite a move today to get below that area. Not that it can't, but that's 1932.02. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, a way different, a way different pattern than the ES, the NQ, and the YM. Can you spot it as you take a look at that chart in the lower right-hand corner? Can you spot the unique difference here inside the Russell? You're right. Absolutely. Take a look at each of the week's higher lows. That includes this week out there. So we've got markets that are uh, giving, uh, giving confusing signals out here. Nonetheless, it's 1932.02 to the downside that you would be watching. But really, much like the other instruments, it's really the low of the pattern that needs to get taken out. That would be the A to B equals CD pattern. And that low is 1892.40. So those are the numbers. Those are the levels to be watching, especially as you come into day's end, to then give you a feel for what's going on. Now, we had talked about the uh, bounce that uh, is going on uh, that was really generated by that spot volatility one-day rate of change above plus 10%. So let's go check in on – you know how we're going to do this? We're going to do this by – by switching over to our eight panel charts. I think that's going to be the best way for you and I to review this. Don't have any calls or questions at this stage that have come in by email. So give me a moment just to get the chart set up for that, change some screens here, and momentarily you'll see our eight panel chart for the ES Mini. So that's where we're going to start. The reason why we're going to start with the ES Mini is because a spot volatility is really dealing with the is dealing with the S&P futures out here. So Here's where we would expect to see the bottom pattern out here that would form overnight. Well, the only bottom pattern that formed, here's the 30-minute chart. I'm going to go ahead and move it up to the uh, upside out here. The only bottom pattern that formed inside the ES Mini last night came from the 60-minute time frame chart, and that was a TD9 count bottom. So let's open up this chart here. And those of you that are longtime listeners, you know that what I'm about to say is just a repetition of what I say often when we go take a look at instruments and try to figure out what the market is communicating to us. So this is where these market profiles really are so helpful to us. So as an example, the, you get a TD9 count bottom. I believe this was 5 o'clock last evening when this uh, formed out here. Uh, yeah, 1,700 hours. So you have a TD9 count bottom. So then that question becomes, okay, you've got a valid bottom. Where is price going to take us to? So on the chart, you're looking for the first level of resistance. Well, you can see that the first level of resistance – which is the red oscillator and change line here, was tying right into the bottom of a profile that had formed. This profile formed at 7 p.m. last night. Price was below it at 7 p.m. Price was below it at uh, 2,800 hours. What is that, 12, 8 p.m. out there. So now you have two consecutive bars below the bottom of a bullish structured profile. If I were to ask you, where is it that a counter trend move would run out of steam? You would have answered, that's easy, Steve-O. It's, you've, you've taught us. It's, it's likely going to be the center of that bullish structure profile. It can't be the bottom, but it's likely going to be the center. And look exactly what took place out here at midnight. Price rallied right up in that level. That level was 4407.50. That was it. That was resistance. So we have the rally. We have the, um, the one-day rate of change rally that was supposed to take place out here. That at least is done. So it's done its job. Uh, whether we rally further throughout the day or not, the, the one-day rate of change has done its job. And price inside the ES Mini got right up to where it should have. That was the resistance level. If it was going to be some type of breakout or further rally, price would have closed about 44.0750. So at this stage, that profile is still in place out there. This is more for the traders this morning than it is for at 1 o'clock. I doubt that at 125, the same profile is going to be here, but it could be. Well, it'll be there if price heads lower, that's for sure, because that's not going to go away. Uh, but right now, what you would need to suggest some kind of rally into the end of the day, so now this applies to 125 in the afternoon, is a close above 44.2475. If you got that, then price should go target the 44.64 level. Likewise, if we take out that TD9 count bottom and price is trading into that swing point right now, that low out there is 43.6725, then we are headed lower. 
headed lower to where? Excellent question. The headed lower to where is likely around the 4258 area or the bottom of that 24th candle session at the 4212 range. So we don't have anything else out here inside, so no other bottoming patterns other than the 60 minute time frame chart. So that's what you want to keep your eye on. You want to keep your eye on the low from uh, last evening out there. And that low again, let me just give that to you again. That was at the 4367.25 level, near 4370 as we speak right now. Let's go take a look at it. And as long as we've done this, so there's nothing else here that I can see that's worthwhile to point out. Uh, inside the uh, ES mini charts. So let's switch over and go take a look at that NQ, the NQ that uh, no longer has that weekly profile in place out here. And uh, so when we get back to this break, we'll go take a look at the NQ. She's trading out at 14, 159 or so. And its bottoming signal came from the 30 minute time frame chart that was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Look at the NQ out here. So the bottoming signal that came in last night, the NQ was on the 30-minute time frame uh, chart. And uh, it was really, uh, it, it, it happened so quickly, the confirmation of that pattern. So here we had a TD9 count bottom. 
that, that formed right here at uh, 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Uh, but it was a road momentum indicator signal that I was really looking for for the equity futures contracts. And the only one that unfolded was the uh, NQ. And you had to have super fast fingers out here because it was even though this is a half hour bar, it was less than half an hour that it took to move higher. I just happened to be right in front of my screens at that moment, was searching for any kind of news, didn't see anything. But of course, what price did during that session was ran right into, again, here is the, here are the profiles. Yeah, John, it, just, it happened so quickly, didn't it? And I'm like, what the heck just happened? And there was nothing that was reported out there that I could see or I could find. And it didn't matter because, John, by the end of that bar, that 30-minute bar, uh, price had run right up into support. That was the top of that uh, profile. So it was like, okay, uh, is there really something to it or is, is that just it? And it turned out that for the most part, that was really uh, just uh, just it. So, But what's important really now about this chart isn't last night's activity or anything. It's this morning. And what price is doing is testing the support level that was created by that Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So that low out there, 14,128.75. I, I don't know whether it's going to get taken out or not. It is support. And um, uh, and if it uh, if it holds, then uh, we maybe bounce between this and and back up towards this fourteen two ninety nine ish area. If we close below that, then the next level of potential support is a breakout area, and that's at fourteen oh seventy eight. That's on the thirty minute time frame chart out there. If that level were to break, then what we're looking at is um, the real key area to be watching inside of the. Uh, NQ out here, and I'm not saying that we're going to hit that, is the 13,462.25 level. That is the weekly breakout area. Now, this is on the continuous contract out here. Uh, it's the only way for me to be able to get those levels, but 13,462. Price were to close below that, then what we'd be looking at is a move down to the 10,942 area out there. So that's the NQs. You're going to want to watch last night's uh, low. If that gets taken out, that says we've got lower prices coming. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks so much for joining us at 532 in the morning out there. Much appreciated. Uh, how are you doing this morning? Doing great, Steve. Good morning to you. Thank you. So yesterday, I can't recall, we were, you were looking at a, uh, was it yesterday or the day before, you were looking at taking, was it Walmart? Did we talk about, we might have talked about that yesterday, I think, right? It was. I sent you an email on, I guess it would have been Wednesday. Yeah. And I decided yeah. just to wait for the earnings to come out, which I did. Yeah. And then I, That's I right. took that position. Matter of fact, I sold out of it yesterday, honestly. Yeah. I good, made good, enough good. of a move. It was like, I was up at least $5 in the money. From where I bought oh, in, so that's great. Like that's that, great. So. How can I help you today? You're kind of going over what I hoped you would, and thank you for giving the uh, the weekly profiles to be watching. Okay, at day's end, and then you've gone over, of course, already the ES and and touched on the NQ, and I uh, I guess my own observation from what you've been showing, at least on the shorter term charts, is that. The bounce we've had, which again we kind of would expect from the VIX, is yes. was, I, I considered to be kind of anemic. It wasn't very much. We'll see what happens throughout the day. But um, I personally was kind of hoping more for what we're getting to have the thing. I just prefer to be getting into something more at the bottom. The bounce sure. makes it trickier because you don't know. Is you know we already are kind of seeing it somewhat failing, so that helps a little bit. But I just. Uh, yeah, if you can maybe look at the shorter term on, I guess, what's remaining, the, the you know, Russell and the YM and see if there's anything showing up there. I think we're just going to have to, for me, I'm just going to be watching more throughout the day to see if we get some kind of a bottom. But just get your thoughts on that. Sure. So let's go take a look at the Russ at the at the Dow Equity Future contract. Uh, it, it might uh, I might have to wait for a break to pull up the Russell. So uh, uh, j just because I don't have that set of charts up on my screen doesn't matter right now. But specifically with regard to the Dow, um, there are no. I'm just looking here real quickly, Brent. So I'm looking at the right hand upper right hand panel chart, 30 minute, no bottoming pattern or anything that's been established there. Nothing that I see on the 60 minute. Nothing on the 120. Nothing on the uh, 240. Well, the 240 actually had a road momentum indicator bottom. And that says, Brent, that if we see a close below that low, which is 34,171, that pattern will have failed. And we're at 34,148 right now. Now, this 240-minute bar doesn't close till 10 o'clock. So we've, it really just began. It's only 35 minutes into it. But, you know, right now, price is trading below that level of support out here. And it's really the same level of support on the five-hour time frame chart. Now, in the five-hour chart, this bar is going to uh, end at 9 a.m. 
and that'll be bar number eight. So that's the only, so as we look through the intraday charts out here, 30, 60, 120, 240, and 300 minute charts, the only one with a potential bottoming signal at the moment is the five hour time frame chart out there. On a, a daily basis, uh, we're trading back inside that swing point from January 24th, even if it's on lighter volume, as long as price remains uh, below 34.410, the, uh, the, the, the possibility of going and testing the blow of that session becomes very real for us. We know on the YM, it's not shown here on this chart here, Brent, but the YM has additional support or profile support at 33.366. So that would likely, if we take out the lows, uh, if we take out the support levels that are they're trading below on the 240 and the 300 minute chart, and we don't get any kind of TD9 count bottom until maybe 2 o'clock or the end of the trading session today, uh, that's where price was likely a target, the 33,366 level. Is there anything on these charts here that you're looking at that you have a question about that I can further answer? No, I think the only thing that kind of, you know, I um, recognize, and it always seems to be the case, is that we're, it seems like we're already going below that level that was kind of the, uh, where you, you know, we had the bounce and that's kind of failed at this point. I mean, so far we'll see what happens, but um, so then that would indicate maybe lower price. And then, yeah, I'm just going to be watching. So we'll have to have, go through, you know, more and more, you know, time periods to get then potentially to a, you know, a TD count or something at that point. Yeah, what 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 you'd have to do today, if if I were, I, I've I've got I've got to run out, um, I've got to head over to the West Coast for a bit uh, today. It, but if I were in front of my screens and we're trading today, what I would be doing in instances like this is I'd be looking at the uh, five, ten, fifteen, you know, thirty minute charts out there, a different screen than what I've got here. Uh, and I don't have that up on my on my system right now, but that's what I would be be looking at out there for some additional signals. But you know, we can see on this set of charts out here, and I'm just referring when I say the set of charts. Really, if you look at the daily, the three, the thirty, the sixty, the one twenty, the two forty, and three hundred, price is below all those red oscillator and change lines. And so those are the levels that price really needs to get above to suggest any potential kind of rally out there. Because when you're when you are trading below a red oscillator and change line, folks, it tells us we have a falling price oscillator that are below zero, and those are bearish conditions. And so you look for the next levels of support out there. So, Brent, that, that's what I see out here. Is there anything else that I can – I know you want to take a look at the Russell, and, I, and during the break I'll get those up on my uh, screen. On my, uh, I'll get those up and I can review them uh, you know, after this next break out here. But is there anything else that I can do for you? Brent, do we have Brent? Uh-oh. Sounds like we may have uh, we mission control. We may have a problem out here. Brent, looks like we've lost you. My apology. Have a uh, fantastic Friday, a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for calling in. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. We're going to go out to New Buffalo, Michigan after we get back from this break and speak with Gary. We'll be right back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to beautiful new Buffalo, Michigan and speak with Gary. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. And congrats to you on your uh, your uh, trade, your investment in NuSkin. NUS is a ticker symbol, and I believe that's where we're going to begin the uh, morning. So how are you today? Okay, great, Steve. How, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. And uh, what a nice big three day weekend, I hope. I, I, I'm definitely ready for that, and we've got some really nice weather. So. <laughs> Really and, looking and, you know, forward. I don't want to step on Brent. If, if you want to finish the uh, IWM, I think you wanted well, the, that. I mean, I'm sure everybody wants to hear that. Yeah, if well, you want I'll, to do that I'll, first. I'll, I'll, sure, I'll fit that in after 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 this call. Uh, we're going to have the time okay. for it, so so no problem there. And so Newskin is one of Gary's uh, big holdings out here, and just uh, came out with earnings uh, the other day, two days ago, and just a wide ranging bar, uh, you know, that took out resistance, took out trend line resistance on the daily time frame, on the weekly time frame, trading above. And you're looking for a close today above the uh, top of the weekly profile, which is 54.67. Uh, you closed at 54.99 last night. You're trading the pre markets above that, and then uh, your your next area of resistance. This is that $56 even Steven number. That is the uh, week, I'm sorry, that's the monthly profile. So if you close above that, uh, everything looks hunky dory. Uh, but what questions can I help you with on New Skin? Actually, I'm sure a lot of people are tired of hearing about it, but I mean, that is my baby, and thank you. And those are the two numbers I needed. Um, okay. And so thank you for that. I'll, I'll, uh, we can run with uh, the other one, Palantir, which I'm looking for a bottom on. Um, but I'm also, uh, obviously, I'm looking to do some a little more into the new skin when it breaks out to that top side on the other end. And yeah. uh, so I'll call you back later on once they break those two numbers. Uh, but sure. um, Palantir, I got um, I got out the day before earnings on my short-term option for today uh so i did well uh but um i um and I'm holding leaps a year and two years out, and I'm looking to add to the two-year out leaps and maybe move it even down closer to where it's at now. But I'm looking for a bottom on it, if there is one, in your mind, and some targets. Nah, I don't see a bottom. So yesterday, and the reason why I say that is yesterday. So what yesterday did was it took out the low from the 24th. You know, right. a pretty significant low for most of the markets. Now, there was 110 million shares at that low. 
Yesterday, you took it out with 151 million shares. So this says it comes all the way back to the IPO from back in September of 2020 and might be targeting the 894 to 1142 level out there. Now, that's before we look at our white background chart. So we're going to pull those over here because this is where we would spot some type of bottom pattern. And what yesterday's action did, in addition to taking out a swing point with volume, but what it also did was it triggered a Rogement indicator signal. Now, I don't know whether that signal is going to continue on as price heads lower, but if you did get a bullish reversal candle, Gary, then you would have a Rogement indicator bottom bottom signal out there and that's what the uh, daily chart shows me just looking for any kind of signals on the weekly i've got nothing on the monthly i've got nothing so yesterday's action says lower price um and if you get a bullish reversal candle you know then let's come back to it otherwise i think this you're going to be able to step into palantir at a at the lower price where it uh, closed last night at 1177 yeah, that's fine, and that's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking, you know, um, two years out, it isn't going to be a huge difference. Um, uh, but it definitely everything um, is relative. Uh, for somebody, because I'm going to be sending this around to a lot of people, um, my question is, um, could you describe what a bullish reversal candle is? Or I think sure. I know, but um, for just people that won't know. Well, there's really about uh, five different bullish reversal candles that I use. Uh, the bullish engulfing candle and the bullish engulfing candle market has to be moving lower and then the body of the candle has to engulf that's why it's called an engulfing it just has to engulf the prior body so we had a bullish engulfing in palantir on february 20 on february 8th out there and that's because that engulfed the prior body's session now inside a bullish engulfing candle it's the low of the bars uh, that the uh, that have been engulfed that become the support level. In this case here, uh, for Palantir, that was a low of February 8th, and that was at 1262. There's another hammer. Ca there's another candle that we would use. That would be called the hammer candle. In the case of Palantir, this generated a hammer candle that confirmed a Rosemont to indicator bottom. That did that on January 10th. Um, you have to have a market that is moving lower in order to generate a hammer candle. In a hammer candle, you've got a small real body at the top, very small wick, if any, above that, and then a wick down below that is at least two times the size of the uh, body of the candle session. Uh, in this case here, that Rosemont indicator bottom did what it was supposed to do. It identified the bottom, and then price ran right up into support, which was the top of its profile in about the 1750 area back on November 12th. So you've got the bullish engulfing candle, you've got the hammer candle, you've got a bull sash candle. I'm just looking out here to see if I can find one so that people can see it out here. I don't know. In a bull sash or a bear sash candle, you don't need to have a trend that's in place. So, for example, here's a bull sash candle, and that's on December 21st out here. And so this opens up inside the body of a down candle and closes above the high of that set creates that little bull sash out there. Um, so you've got that. You've got the Three River Morning Star pattern out here. That's what took place on the trading day of December the 7th out there. That requires at least three bars. Sometimes it's more than three bars out there. Uh, price uh, gave us that bottoming signal, uh, but price ran also into that red oscillator and change line and didn't close above it. Uh, and then there would be the gap to the upside. So those would be the five different there and there would be the six there'd be the uh, bulls separating candle so uh, it's not uh, so a, a bullish reversal candle folks is not just a green bodied candle it has to be one of those five and i teach that to subscribers there's a workshop that'll go through there's really seven um seven bullish candles that you need to understand and once you understand those then you would understand the opposite uh you, all you have to learn is seven candles so you've got seven bullish and seven bearish candles really and uh, those are all taught uh there's a hour workshop uh, and there's really a couple different hours where i talk about the uh, candles so gary i hope that that helps you out did that answer your question it did, Steve, and then I was hoping you were going to lead into that because that's what I where I learned it from your newsletter. So, ah, uh, but, okay. um, I appreciate though educating everybody else that's going to be on this call that uh, will listen to this call today. And thanks for all your, you know, your work and your education and, and just being a great guy. So, make it a great weekend, okay? You betcha, and, and, and you do the same. That's Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. And uh, folks, uh, so, you know, j learning the candlesticks is helpful, um, but where they really come in handy. It's not during the middle of a move where they really come in handy is uh, at the end of a move, at the at the end of a pattern 
what kind of pattern are we talking about? Well, the Rosemontum indicator signal, I teach that as well. The TD9 counts, that is helpful. The A to B equals CD pattern, that sets that typically set up Gartley buys or butterfly buy and sell patterns out there. So it's really at the end of the pattern. So whatever pattern it is that you trade out there, uh, you'll find it uh, very helpful to uh, learn the uh, different, now there's a ton of bullish or bearish reversal candles. I've nailed it down to really the seven, only seven, that you have to really look at that give you the best signals to identify a top or a bottom out there. So it looks like we might have uh, John and Philly on the line. Is that, do we have John and Philly? Good morning, Steve. Can you hear me? I can. John, my apology. I didn't realize you were on the line there. A lot was blabbering. And I know you want to take a look at silver. We're going to go to a break here in about 10 seconds. But can you give me the feel for what, what you're calling about? And then we'll come back and we'll finish it off. Your chart work, please, including overhead resistance levels that might restrain the rally. You got it. We'll be back, folks. After this break, we're going to go take a look at silver with John in Philly. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome 
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at silver with John in Philly. And John's specific question is he wants two levels, one or two levels of resistance overhead that he needs to keep an eye on. And that's an easy question to answer, folks. And those two levels, the first one is 24015, John. That is the high from February 15th. The reason is because that was a TD9 count. And that's the level that's being attacked right now. If price closes above that area, then that pattern will get negated and suggest a further move higher. Now, there's a set of profiles on this white background set of charts, John, that are different than the profiles on my black background set of charts. You and I have had this discussion before. Both are valid. The second level then would be 2413. And the reason is because this is a bullish structured profile for the daily time frame on the white background charts. Price was is, is traded below it for quite a period of time out there and that is where a counter trend move would end so if price can close above 2413 then you're off to the races back to the recent highs back to the 2475 area does that provide you with what you were looking for all i need steve thanks very much uh avoid those uh, alligator snafus on your drive today you got it. You got it. John, thanks much for calling and much appreciated. So we've got about a minute left to go in the show. And, and thank you to everybody that's listening at one o'clock. Certainly those that have tuned in uh, at uh, eight this morning. And uh, just a quick check on things out here. Let me just see what the markets are doing. Let's get back to my uh, main screens out here. Let's go see what the going on inside the uh, futures marketplace. So just a moment to get to that set of charts. And so right now you've got a little bit of a mixed bag here. You've got the Dow equity futures down 18, the NASDAQ up 15 out there. We've taken a look at the key levels for you to be watching or observing. Gold's back uh, three bucks right now. Uh, silver up by uh, 12 pennies. So the nice thing about silver last night was, uh, I'm sorry, early this morning, about 6, 6.30 this morning was price had pulled back to 23.70. That was a breakout level on the 30-minute chart and then had that nice bounce off of that. So uh, folks, uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you're listening at 9 o'clock, uh, Tommy O'Brien is up next with the morning market kickoff. And at 1, your favorite polar bear, David White. I'll be back with you tomorrow or tomorrow on Tuesday. That's right. We've got a holiday on Monday. So I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a fantastic weekend, folks. Thanks so much for joining me. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might